Hello there, Vault Dwellers. Welcome back to another Help and Tips video with me, Sovereign. Really quick, you guys, I'd just like to thank you all so very much for watching these videos, for subscribing, for liking. The channel is seeing a lot of activity lately, and it feels really good, honestly. So thank you guys so much. It really does mean everything. I can't even explain it to you. It's awesome. And I'm really glad to have you. And thanks for asking those questions, too. Ask me some questions, guys. I am here to help. But anyway, I am going to clear up today the confusion regarding the mechanics of the legendary enemies and items spawns as well as enemy respawns so first things first guys legendary items uh unfortunately i've posted many videos with many different legendary items and this was before i knew that the legendary enemies chances of appearing were random uh, so the enemies that i've shown you will not always spawn however when they do spawn, they will always spawn in the locations I've shown you. They are set spawn points, so when they do spawn, it will be those specific enemies. The thing is, it's kind of like an RNG type situation. It is a random chance occurrence that they will spawn. However, the chance is much higher when your difficulty is higher. I have mine set to hard now, and I'm finding legendary enemies left and right. I mean, it's, it's insane. I honestly thought the difference would be minute at best and it's a huge difference they're everywhere now i'm finding them almost every time i fight any kind of group of enemies almost every time i find at least one in one place i was in i found three legendary enemies in one dungeon one lootable area it was crazy so yes guys uh it is a chance for them to spawn so if you can handle it i would recommend setting your difficulty too hard at least because that's what i have mine on and it's working great the next thing is, if you do see an enemy spawn, a legendary enemy, they may not drop the same loot that I have shown you guys. Again, I did not know this until a viewer had shown me, and had told me actually in the comments, he had mentioned to me that he did find this legendary guy, but that he did not get the same legendary item that I got. So I didn't know this, so big thank you to him for letting me know that. So it does not mean you'll get the same items, but these videos are still beneficial because you at least can see what kind of legendary items are offered in the game, and it'll give you something to shoot for, something to look out for, something you know you might want to get if you can. And finally, when it comes to spawning, guys, I can confirm this myself because I've seen it happen in my own game. Enemies, loot, including mini nukes, locked containers, locked doors, and locked terminals respawn interiors exteriors everything respawns now the only thing i cannot tell you for sure is how long it takes for that to occur um i have heard that generic locations like ones for example that are not located on your map uh you know those random campsites you might stumble across with a few raiders here or there or maybe there's ghouls the next time you stumble across it they can change it's it's you know kind of like random encounter kind of areas uh, but anyway, these places, I've heard, take seven in-game days to respawn. When it comes to the bigger places, then I'll use for an example this one, the USAF Satellite Station Olivia. When it comes to places like that, I've heard it can take 20 in-game days. But if you go to these locations before that 20 in-game days has passed and it's had a chance to respawn, that it will reset the timer. And I, I can believe that, actually, because the USAF Satellite Station Olivia back when I was I had barely uncovered any of the map which as you can see I've uncovered quite a bit now uh, I had actually already cleared this and then I wanted to continue exploring over in this direction so I fast traveled back to it from somewhere down here and when I got there there were more raiders there the mini nukes I picked up were there every locked door was relocked every locked container was relocked every locked terminal was relocked everything was completely 100% respawned also, the quarry tends to respawn, and it seems like it has a pretty quick rate of respawn as well. Uh, but I hear that for bigger places like the USAF place, then it's 20 in-game days, as I said. Do not go there before it's had a time to respawn, or it'll reset the time. And I've been going back and forth to that area to hope that they were respawning, and I could, you know, go back in there and take advantage, and it hasn't happened. And it's been a long time now, so I think that's true and then i've just continually reset the damn timer and uh so that's it you guys i, I hope that this helped clears it up I, i'm really sorry that i posted those videos and didn't make it clear 
from the very beginning that there was a chance you wouldn't run into these enemies or that the loot they dropped was in fact not the loot I was telling you they would. I did not know at that point how the mechanics worked. I thought that it was just this enemy will be here and he will drop this. So that is my fault. I, am, I apologize for that. However, again, it's still beneficial because now you know where those enemies will spawn. So go and check it out, you guys. I really do appreciate you coming by the channel and watching the video. If, uh, if you liked it, if it helps you, then please go ahead and give it a like and uh, subscribe while you're here. Might as well make this easy. You're already here. Go ahead and hit that button. So thank you guys so much. And again, thanks to all the new subscribers, those of you that have been liking, that have been commenting and asking questions. It's excellent. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. See ya.